Hey, what is up heroes and welcome to a very special video potentially or a very heartbreaking video. I don't know what's going to happen here. So basically we found some of Jasmine's very old Pokemon cards. There's some newer ones in here when um, I used to go around and we used to like open up packs of generations years and years ago. There's also some very, very old cards which are, I don't know if from the, the original base set or maybe a little bit like after I think the jungle set or whatever, but the reason I say it could be potentially heartbreaking is if I just uh, grab this pile of here and uh, I'll show you guys the sides, you can see they're a bit, um, a bit discolored, a bit, you know, a bit, uh, it's, it's hard to look at. So it could be heartbreaking because imagine if we find something super rare, I don't know, like a, a Charizard, you know, big example, that's going to be a Charizard in here, but if we did find a Charizard and it was th this condition, that could be heartbreaking. I'm sure there's going to be some stuff in here that's going to be probably still worth a pretty penny, even though it's um, a little scuffed. I'll probably like, uh, what, probably get like a PSA 3 or 4, but hey, I've seen like um, the shiny Charizard PSA 1 get like, uh, still got for like $400, which is <laughs> insane. But um, let's hope maybe we can find something good in here. So I know there's like um, some generation cards in here from when we used to open up cards, I can see. I think Reverse Valley's generations. We're going to go through the cards. I have absolutely no idea what's in here. Apart from I know there's going to be some generation commons. Ooh, the link one looks pretty cool. And hopefully we can find something that's, uh, that's worth something, you know, a little pretty penny. <laughs> but I'm, I'm just a little bit worried we're going to find something really nice and it's going to be like the the worst condition card you've ever seen. Or it's, uh, but like obviously when Jasmine was collecting these, like as a kid, a lot of times, and you know, I did it, I'm guessing a lot, probably a lot of you did it as well. As a kid, you just don't think about sleeving cards a lot of the times. Ooh, that burnt tower. That looks nice. I'm looking at that aside. Anything I think potentially looks really cool or um, could be worth something, I'm gonna put it to the side a little bit. But like, I'm sure if I found my old Pokemon cards, which I, I think they probably got thrown away when we moved house. Ooh, Mr. Fuji. That's, uh, that's the fossil set, right? That could be worth something, maybe. I'll put that on the side. Um, yeah, but I'm sure it's not the camera. <laughs> I'm sure if I found my old cards, they would be the worst condition ever. Because I definitely know. Oh, wow, Dark Gloom. Ooh, that's cool. I'll put that on the side. Um, if I found my cards, I could get distracted. <laughs> I know 100% I did not sleeve them. Like, I didn't start sleeving stuff until, you know, I started kind of getting back into Yu Gi Oh! around, like, 2009 so um all my cards not the uh the great condition oh, no, i did try i did have a binder i did try keeping as nice as possible had the deck boxes had the binder just didn't think to ever sleeve it because no one in my school had sleeves it was just you wouldn't think about sleeving cards <laughs> it's just you, you pull them out your pocket oh my god i remember um one day i went on a school trip and me and my friends all took our poker uh, not Pokemon cards Yu -Gi -Oh cards on the bus and then the teacher was like uh, no, you're not playing Yu-Gi-Oh on the bus. Give me all your cards. I don't want to give my cards to the teacher because I was a bit of thief in my school as well. My cards got stolen before I had a polymerization for anyone else and it got stolen. But anyway, I just, I just put my cards unsleeved, like a whole deck of them, into my coat pocket, walking around the whole day. Oh, dude, I remember that. And just thinking about it now makes me just... Ah, terrible, terrible. Ah, uh, well, they're looking kind of cool. I got Quillfish. Oh. Seems like they're a little bit sorted as well. All like, you know, grass Pokemon, then water Pokemon. Duff clip, man. Ooh, Suicune. But, oh, that Psyduck is actually so adorable. It's just nice to see these old cards, though. And there's, there's a lot of cards to kind of get through. Like, um, this could be a, a longish video. But, bear with me. That could be something good. <laughs> I hope there is. If there's nothing good, then, um... You, you, ooh! Fossil Articuno, hey! Put that to the side. Not bad. Yeah, if there's nothing good, you obviously won't be uh, seeing this video. Oh no, I'm gonna put the fossil stuff to the side. Is that fossil though? Yeah, just in case um, we find something good. I'm gonna have to um, keep stopping and redoing the recording. Oh, they pour in, looks kinda cool. Just because I've got a five minute limit to make it this like quality. So um, yeah, give me a sec. All right, we're back. That's Slowpoke art though. <laughs> Oh, Slowpoke well, man. Oh, that Oshawa is so cute. And you got the Weasel. It's got level in it. 
Oh, that's kind of cool. Don't know some cards had levels in it, and you yeah, know all the cards are gonna be like the right, right way up. So I might be <laughs> flipping them back and forth every now and then. <laughs> oh, dude. But if we can get like some like hollows, that would actually be kind of nutty. Kind of nutty. All right, got that. That seal art is just kind of really cute. The fact we've got like, I don't know, some fossil stuff already, it looks kind of nice. Like I'm not, not um, too upset with what we found so far. And then the last bit is a reverse Gyarados. All right, let's grab the next part of this uh, this pile. Just, oh, we're getting into like the, um, the, the older cards now. So <laughs> it's gonna be, it could be good, it could be bad. But I'm just, I'm just hoping, dude. I'm just hoping. Ooh! That's the um the plasma pack, isn't it? That's kind of, kind of cool and not pillory. Ooh, not a sweet coon again. <laughs> There's a lot of ducklets so far. Oh my god, that weeper just looks um His tail just looks, yeah, just a bit <laughs> bad position. Another level like uh, level on the, the name. Didn't know they actually uh did that, but anyway. Uh, don't know what set that's from. Oh, is that the original seal? Slowpoke. That's kind of cute with the ducklet and shoulder in. I believe that's the original seal, right? That's the, um... Oh, if I remember correctly, it's the third... If it is the original... Yeah, I think it is. But it's the, um... Because you've got the shadow. Then you've got like, the first edition, then it's shadowless without the shadow. And then you've got the shadow. The shadow is like the, the, the worst one. Still all good, don't get me wrong, but ideally you want the first edition or the shadowless. That would be that would be good. Ooh, we got a polywag. Oh that Lukia though. Well, that looks a bit. Is that fake? I don't know, it looks it feels a bit I don't know, it feels a bit different and it's so the, the edges, I'm gonna go back to the side just in case, I don't know, I don't know if it is fake or not. We've got Dark Water Tour, god he looks, he looks upset dude. And then you got, uh, is that base set 2? Because of the, the 2 I'm pretty sure. And then that's, uh, that's a Jungle Goldeen. Ooh, Jungle Vaporeon. Jungle Seeking, I'm gonna like the, um, the old sets away just in case like the commons are worth something. Get lots of fossils now, Fossil Seedra. Oh, dude, I remember some of these cards. They're bringing me back that shelter. <laughs> oh, dude. It's like you know how my hand is getting a bit oh, dead. But, like, some of the the, um, the sides of these cards are not great. Oh, they don't look too bad from the front, to be fair, like some of them. Oh, that Psyduck. <laughs> like, I'll look into these cards. Um, oh, what, the, what is this? Is that? Oh, that is definitely, that's really cool. The two cards together, that is definitely fake. Oh, you can tell that's just like printed, that's just... It feels like that Lugia's gotta be with it as well. I don't know actually, that's got a bit of hollow onto it. But this is just... This is 100% fake. Right? I don't know. Yeah, it's got, that's gotta be. Just, it doesn't... Yeah, it's a bit too... I'm going to the side as well just to double check, but... I'm like 99% sure that's fake. Uh, <laughs> I got Slowbro, and then what we got now? Love Disc! Oh, that Psyduck's so cute. Again, I think... I don't know if like some of these... Maybe she bought like a couple of big packs, I don't know. But... Some of them, they feel fake. And if you guys want to see like, um... A fake pack opening, let me know, because uh, I found as well when I was clearing out some stuff. When Pokemon Go was at its like, you know, all time high in 2016, when my brother and uh, family went on holiday, he brought me back some like Pokemon toys, which are, uh, oh, Froakie looks kind of funny, which are uh, clearly fake, but also Pokemon Go trading cards, which I haven't opened them, they're just packs and just they are clearly fake, clearly just trying to scam money. You know, to, uh, off the money of the Hyper Pokemon Go. But it's kind of funny to quickly reset the recording. But yeah, if you guys want to see that, let me know because uh, I know where the packs are. And it's just. <laughs> it might be funny just to open them up and see what's inside. See what kind of fake Pokemon we can find. Maybe they've got like weird names. That's <laughs> just what is so funny. 
Okay, Mama Swine. That looks a bit fake. I'm not. Oh. See, like, I a lot of the old sets around kind of like. Um, I collected Pokemon cards from Kanto and Johto. Hoenn and. Um, Hoenn and. Sinnoh, sorry. I, I kind of didn't collect anything. Uh, Unova, I got some packs here and there. So, um. I know, I know of some stuff, but I never really like proper collected again until uh, 2016. Is that the uh, original Starmie, maybe? Oh, that side looks kind of old. But yeah, like I, I started proper collecting. Well, I say proper collecting, like I um, 2016 when the Generation set came out the 20th, 20th anniversary. I just started getting those Pokemon cards again and uh, collecting stuff, not like going, oh, this is like the, the high value card in the set, gotta try and uh, get this, I just I just grabbed packs because it was, ooh, that was alright, I've got a side, because, oh, two Zoras, I'm not into the side, got my favorite Pokemon, yeah, so I was like, um, you know, just generations, get some of that, I got, I got every single set, uh, card in the generation set, which is nice, but um, it was more just getting cards for fun, and now it's more like, well, this, at least this past year, I've been like, okay, this is the card we want to... Actually, more like last year with Hidden Fates, I was like, I want to pull this shiny Charizard. This is the, the money card, and now it's just like, you know, trying to pull trying to pull the good stuff. Although, I still want to get some cards, you know, even if something's not worth... Ooh, Fossil Kabudops. Even though it's um, not worth a lot, I still want to get it if it looks cool. Like, uh, ooh, Jungle Primeape, nice. Like my Full Art Flinx. Not worth, I think it's worth like £8, still... Went out my way to get that bad boy. Like anything that looks cool or um, is worth something I want to try and get. Like in the next set, Vivid Voltage. If we do get the same uh, amazing rare cards as Japan got, I think the ones you want to pull are Celebi, Jirachi, and uh, Raikou. I think they're like the most expensive ones. But I want to pull Zacian because I think Zacian looks really nice. So here's, yeah, here's some generation cards, like some reverses. Oh, hello! Hello, we have a Hollow Vaporeon from Jungle. Oh, I guess not. It's not bad to be honest. I can't see the sides. Uh, it's definitely not like a. It probably won't get higher than a six, maybe. Oh, where's my sleeves? Let's sleeve this bad boy up. This one is the Zoro cards, though. They are a bit. Uh... Yeah, they're a bit, I have to flatten them, try and get them, like, fix them a little bit. But this is not bad. This is not bad at all. Alright. There you go, that's... That's alright. That's gonna be worth at least, like, a little bit. That's, that's, that's kind of cool. Alright. Still a lot of cards to sift through, and we're like... Just found... I don't know, something potentially really good. <laughs> alright, back onto today. Got some, like, hollow pavilions, which are just from, um... Like, a, a blister set. Mystic. Is that the secret rare one? No, oh, Kuni. I think it's like um, in the that's the evolutions set, I believe. No, is that generations? No, I think that was generations. It was one of like a um a card like that. I think it might be an evolutions. That was a secret rare. It was like a common. But I can't remember. Right. What else we got? We got a red card. It kind of keeps like turning these cards around. Oh, okay. That's just. Whoop. Got Pokemon Fan Club, Olympia. Olympia's like a really cool gym leader to me. I just feel like she doesn't get enough love. She needs like, I don't know, become Pokemon Masters or something. Got that sleeved for some reason. Got Pokemon Catcher. <laughs> Got Reverse Valley, looks really cool. Oh, Energy Surge Fossil, put that aside. It's only like the old, old cards I'll put across just in case. I can, uh, ooh, that looks kind of sweet, dude. Team Rocket's handiwork. <laughs> Do like that. Got Pokemon Receiver. And we got, uh, what's this? Fairy Garden. Energy Reset. Another Fairy Garden. Ooh! Professor Elm's Training Method. Again, that feels a bit... Maybe it's like the Johto cards. That like a, I don't know. Well, maybe it's, it's good. Maybe it's not. I don't know. There's another one there, just in case. If you guys do know, let me know in the comments down below, because I, uh... Oh, poor Jigglypuff. Got Gambler. Oh, these are like old trainer stuff, dude. Just, uh, I'll put them to the side as well, just in case they look really old. 
mysterious fossil. Oh, switch. That's the original uh, base set stuff, right? We've got another switch. Lucario and Turtwig. That's cool. Ooh, the Pokeball. Oh, the artwork looks really nice. Sorry, I thought it was in the shot. I'm sorry. That looks really nice. Got like a I'm trying to like loads of new setups for uh, recording, and sometimes I think they're good, and then they start like getting into it, and it's a bit, it's a bit awkward. <laughs> so oh god, so I keep knocking the camera. I do apologise. It's a bit, yeah. Get a new tripod soon, so it'll be a little bit easier. Just because like I got like <laughs> this little thing clipped over the screen, so I have to like kind of. Tilt my head to the left to see over it and got the Pokemon first. I'll put that to the side as well. That's kind of cool. There's some sleeve stuff at the back, so maybe we got something kind of decent. Oh, Lost Remove. That looks really sweet. And we got N. I like that art, but I'm going to keep that on the side. I put it to the side, but I can't tell if that's fake. It, it just. Oh, dude. It's very uh, reflective as well. Oh, hello! We got another bad boy! What we got? We got Flareon! Oh, dude, that art is so nice! A jungle Flareon! Ooh! Let's go! I'm gonna sleeve that bad boy up, actually. Any, like, hollow things like this? Gotta sleeve up just in case. Just in case. Oh, that's actually really nice. We got Flareon and Vaporeon. If we have a Jolteon as well, that'd be kind of nice. And we got a uh, reverse Embor sleeved. Oh, uh, got Blaziken. It's got the is that the Eon? Oh, we got a Hollow Charmeleon. Oh, a Hollow Fossil Moltres. Hey, okay, we're hitting the gold mine here. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And then we got. Oh, we have a Jody on as well. We got the set. Oh, let's go! Oh, wow! Okay. So we have Jolteon, Flareon, and Vaporeon. Uh, let's slowly try to get all three of these. Oh, look at that! Oh, that's actually kind of insane! Ha! <laughs> I did not think we'd find anything like... I don't know if that's actually going to be really, really good, but it's, it, to me, that's really cool. And then we got a Hollow Electros and a... Is that Hollow Hydreigon? Yeah, and a Hollow Hydreigon. Oh, that's that's really sweet, and we still have two big piles to go through. Oh my goodness, we still got so many stuff to like sort through. This is insane. All right, starting this next batch off with the Jungle Pikachu, your fat Pikachu, and we got a Fossil Zapdos. Oh, Promo Pikachu. Okay. Oh, hell! Oh, dude, we've hit the gold mine right here. There's so much more. Oh, another promo Pikachu. I remember this. Oh, dude, I need. I should probably sleep the promos as well. Oh, dude. There is so much gold here. So much gold. This is actually awesome, dude. Then we got a an electrode, a jungle electrode. Dude, I need like. Some Pokemon TCG expert with me right now to sort through this stuff and be like, yo, you just hit the, the jackpot. So we got, oh, hello. Okay, so we got a um, Generations Frostlass, I believe that is. Put it to the side. We got a Reshiram? A full art Reshiram. That, dude, that looks sick. Hell yeah. Oh, dude, we are hitting the jackpot. And then we got, again, I can't tell if it's like fake or not, but it's like a. Another unknown, but oh, we got a promo Mewtwo. Oh, dude, I remember this as well. Oh my god, dude, so much good stuff. And we got a dark Celebi. Oh, let's sleeve that up. And then we got a hollow jungle pincer. Hello. Oh, we got a dark. Oh, that's no, 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 no. You can probably see, yeah, you can see in the video already. Oh, this one's a bit. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that's a bit bad. Let's still sleeve that up, though, just to get it, you know, keep it from getting any worse than what it is. Oh, that's that's a bit heartbreaking, but still really cool, though. And then we got a, is that hollow? 
It is, we've got a hollow fossil mug. I'm probably getting really excited because these are old cards, hollow. But they're probably oh, like a uh, Del Fox break. Nice. Probably getting like really excited, but a lot of these cards are probably like worth nothing. But it's still exciting though, old cards. We've got a Cypher. Oh my god, there's so many hollows here, dude. This is the jackpot. This is the jackpot, dude. A victory bell. Oh, that Vulcan. I remember that Vulcan. I need more sleeves, dude. I need more sleeves. Running low. I'm actually running. Oh my god, there's actually so many. I'm just gonna look for the hollows. I've got not, not got enough sleeves, and I need to go get some. Oh my goodness. All right, so we got a uh, pile plume. Takes back memories, dude. And then we got Hitmonlee. Looks so nice. Ooh. Raikou? Oh, but the, what is that? Like, the bottom half of a hollow? <laughs> That's gotta be fake. That looks really nice, got another Raikou. Got a promo Electabuzz. Let's go. Hollow Fossil Kabutos. Oh, a hollow Zapdos Fossil. Hypno Fossil. Oh my god. <gasps> oh, is that the. That's a first edition Machamp. Ooh, okay. And we got another Jolteon. We got Mr. Mime. Oh, dude, this is the jackpot. Oh, wait, there's a car behind it. What's... Oh, what the? There's a bit of blue tack on. Oh, dude, it's... oh no, trying to get this off is going to be hard. Oh, I think what Jasmine did before we were together. Well, she might have just like blue tack these onto the wall <laughs> to make like a nice, you know, Pokemon card wallpaper. And we got, I don't know what that's from, but that's kind of cool. Got Hollow Dragolidge. That Slow King looks kind of cool. <gasps> oh, look at that BGR. Oh, dude, I remember this. I remember like a story from like when I was little. I remember some kid pulled this and like everyone was trying to trade it off him. Oh snap, that looks amazing. I got a Clefable. I remember Clefable so well. And a Kangas gone. Not more blue tag. <laughs> but I say what why is it stuck? Okay, okay. Dude, I might just hit the jackpot. This is actually I don't know if this is interesting for you guys seeing these old cards, but Oh, run out of memory for a second there. Uh, so we just went through, uh, it was the last three. So the Kangaskhan, the Hollow Umbreon, and the Haxorus. The rest were just uh, energy. So I just, uh, you know, just quickly go through it. So it was all just like, got through that, and it was just it was just all energy. All energy. So the next pile we go to, starting off with more energy, but it looks, again, super fake. That's a big pile potentially. This all just oh no, okay. That's energy, let's get rid of that. And then we go back to the trainer stuff. So we've got Sharon, Psychic's third eye, Ooh, a great ball, puzzler time, the link one. It's like anything I think is gonna be good. But again, like if you see anything that's I see like a pretty good card at the back. We'll get to that when we get there. If see anything that could potentially be worth something and I go past it, do ooh, let me know. Oh my god, that Eevee. I'm putting that it's over there. Got Jigglypuff. Oh, that Rattata. What is up with that artwork? It's kind of cool though at the same time. <laughs> oh, bro. Oh, a Dragonite. And a Rocky Eevee. I think that's the original Farfetch, right? Put that aside. Oh, Jigglypuff. That's a team, man. Oh, Kangaskhan. Kind of hollow one, but. Some of these old cards. Just some little fossil stuff over there, the original. I'm sorry, I keep hitting the camera. Oh, dude, that Tauros. Just memories, man. Oh, that Eevee's so cute. Not the Spiro. Got Feeble. Some of the cards, like, we've got on Common and Hollow. There's the Fero to go with the Spiro. Oh, Snorlax. That was Hollow. That'd be kind of cool. Flaking it in hollow. What's this? It's just got a Kangaskhan. 
I want to find more of the dark cards if Jasmine hasn't had any. Like, I've got like dark water tool, dark gloom. Oh, hello. Got Blissey. This is actually burned fossil. So burnt buried fossil. Burnt fossil. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. I'm gonna go through all the cards at the end when we uh we finish, but dude, this is just this is so awesome. Oh man. This is so fun for me. <laughs> it's like interesting for you guys to see as well. Oh, hello. Got Steelix with the... I forget his name, the Jimmy. I don't over there, just in case that's good. Oh my god, that Pidgey though. These cards, these gotta be fake cards. 100%. Got a Hollow Noctowl. Ooh, Hollow Skarmory. Again, that looks a bit... Fake, but I don't know. Like right now, when, when I finish the video, like obviously I'll look into these like potential fake cards. I know some of them are gonna be fake, 100%, but some of them might not be. So we will, we will see. Any more cool ones? Oh god. Oh, me out. <laughs> oh dude, I just love the artwork of some cards. Oh, Porygon Z. Is that hollow? It's a hollow tornadoes. And I think this. Oh yeah, these these are definitely fake. You can just tell from like how they feel. Unfortunately. All right, let's get on to the next pile. Cards oh, over there as well. We found like just so much, so much more than I expected. Like I knew there's a big pile. There's like a lot of cards on the sale. I was like, okay, there's got to be at least one or two good things we'll find. I didn't expect to find this much. Ooh, Fossil Gengar? Hell yeah. Dual Blade and what, the Unknown. Uh, the kind of, ooh, Plasma Espeon just in case. Some of this stuff just like, I need to turn it around. Just looking at all these old cards, there's a lot of zoo. oh my god, there's a lot of Zubats. Ah, oh, Trevor and oh, look so sweet. Oh, Trevor's looking so sad. That's got, I can't remember what that's from, let's put that over there. Just in case. Because sometimes, like, commons from old sets looks really, um, can be worth something. But we're, we're coming up to, oh, a fossil, got some fossil stuff. Jungle, 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 fossil, fossil, jungle. Jungle, oh, it's all over there, just some commons. But we'll get up to some very old cards, as you can see, and maybe we'll find something decent, but I'm kind of hoping they're not, because of how bad they look. Oh, that Rhydon, I remember that so much. God, I'm right. okay, oh, it's a, it's a Rhyhorn, it's fine, it's fine. It's not that bad, it's just, it's just a, uh, just a little Rhyhorn. There's still something else in the back that looks a bit, a bit odd, a bit scuffed. Maybe we'll find something really sweet. And it's a Wobbuffet? Can't tell. It feels fake. But. Okay, so I ran out of memory. Um, not sure how long ago it was like the Wobbuffet. And here's some stuff I went through real quick. So we've got the Fossil Raichu, the Persian. Budo, there's the Wobbuffet, which I thought was big, and then you've got this unknown, looks really cool. You've got Mankey, Geodude, and Cubone, and the Hitmon League, a Rhyhorn, and Rhydon. That Rhydon, I used to love this card. I remember like the artwork, I used to really like it. Got this really bad condition Rhyhorn that just looks so, so bad. Oh my god, there's so many cards here. We've got a big, big pile here. And you can see there's some old stuff in there, so maybe we'll find something worthwhile, who knows? We've got the Goldeen. Ooh, we can go. Oh, Fossil Magma, okay. Execute. Oh, Rocket Porygon. Well, it's a rocket set. Looks kind of cute, it's in a little box. That gloom. <laughs> oh, dude. Does anyone just like see these cards and just like instantly get like brought back to like their childhood? Because for me, it's just kind of seems that way. I feel like we're not going to find it. Oh, Dark Persian, nice. Oh, Aerodactyl's a bit creased. 
feel like we're not going to find anything else now. Just because... Well, that drawing's a bit scuffed. We found all those hollows and now it's just like... We're finding some of the cards we did see, but non-hollow. So maybe all the hollows were together. Uh, oh, let's put some of these cards I don't want. And the electro over there. Ooh, let's bring these a little bit so I have some space. I've got so much to sort through. Barrel man. <laughs> Ooh, is that original ground off? It's kind of cool. Uh, base set 2 energy. I don't know if it's worth anything. It's got the 2 on it, but... Probably not. Oh, again, so some old cards now. Oh, that Pichu looks really cute. And you got a little horsey. Ooh, and a cool looking Cypher behind that. Oh, the Cypher's sweet. Ooh, Ig Igly Buff. Come on, man. We've got to find some more gold. Oh, love that. They have the Charmander, Charmeleon, and Charizard. Set from Generations, where it shows the kid growing up. Some of my favorite cards, I think. I love that so much. Ooh. Got Pikachu. Yellow cheeks, but it's uh, a shadow. Put that on the side still. Not sure that's worth anything. Who knows? Who knows? Well, experts would know. <laughs> oh, again, yep. Some fake cards, you can tell, because they just don't slide easy, and they're just... Oh, they feel horrible. It feels so, so bad. There's just some stuff underneath. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how long this video is. I'm sorry. It's very long. Hopefully. Yeah, we'll just chill and chat. Talk about some stuff. <laughs> and it, it kind of sucks that this recording only has like a five minute limit. I don't know why. Because I'm recording, I think it's like 4K. Something else. There's a better condition Zora there. That's better. <laughs> There, ooh, another Zora. There is one uh, Zora card I, I desperate, desperately want. And it's a bit expensive. It's the shiny Zora from, um, it's just a holo uh, from a set. I don't know what set it is. But like, I've got the shiny Zora from, I think it's Hidden Fates or whatever it was. But I want the, the expensive one. Oh, there's a card that's back just looks so fake. And I think I can tell what card it is already. It's gonna be one of these. I don't know actually. Oh, you can see Fennekin in that little, little hole. <laughs> Dude, it must be so fun just to be like a, an artist and just, um, oh, what a free, just to create Pokemon TCG artwork. Just cause it's just, ah, oh, it's so sweet, dude. Oh, like that. Original, ooh, original Charmander. But these aren't going to be worth like the expensive first edition Charmander commons you see they go for like thousands still. And if it was, it's. Ooh, oh, well, more trees are kind of cool. Then would be the, the greatest condition. <laughs> Got more psychic types all upside down. I'm just going through these cards. I have to sort through. Ooh, that's all slow, bro. That's all slow poke. Get to sort through these again at some point. Just to get them all nice and uh, organized a bit. Alright, fully reset the recording. But we are coming very close to the end of this now. Almost out of uh, card to look at. Oh, the Shadow Triad. It's kind of sweet. I'm going to put that aside just in case. I kind of like that. Oh, that Poliwag though. Look at that Poliwag. It's so... I kind of scratch off the little like, bits. Oh, dude, that's... Oh. Um, to be fair, the, the condition of the hollows and stuff isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be from the look on the side of the cards. I thought it was going to be horrendous. But we've got like, um, oh yeah, look at these. Look at that. There's hopefully some old good stuff here. This is the last pile. So hopefully we find, oh, Squirtle. Some more gold on the night. All right. Got a Floette from Generations. There's a, ooh, not fairy types here. Okay, so we got Quellava. Ooh, basically two Vulpix. Got a Hollow Camera up. Got a Flareon. Oh, look at that Charmander. <laughs> That's kind of cute. That side, uh, jungle. 
Oh, look at that onyx. That's really sweet. Lots and lots of old cards here. Lots of, oh, Fossil Arbuck, Fossil Zubat. The pip just because it's got the, uh, the weird border. Oh, that shot a little bit. And this is coming to the end. Oh, Heracross is nice. Coming to the end. And it's... Oh, I know. Done. That is all the cards. So we found... We found quite a lot, to be fair. That was... Potential... Gold mine. We need to get some more sleeves, like... Oh, dude, there's so much little promo cards. Oh, dude, like, like, look at this. they got, like... The victory bet on the cipher. That's just, you know, <laughs> Mark Dark Weezing, Pinsir, Dark Celebi, Mewtwo Promo, that Reshram. I like that a lot. Electro, Promo Pikachu, and then just sleeve, got the Fossil Moltres, and the Promo Pikachu, Vaporeon, Flareon, and the Joyons buried underneath. But I thought this would be kind of like fun just to go through some old cards and stuff and see if we find anything. Um, worth a lot but uh yeah follow me on twitter for like more updates and i'll you know I'll let you guys know if any of this is actually worth anything or anything anything or anything but if it's not you know it's, it's no big deal like these cards are still like this flareon art i really i really dig that flareon if these cards are like worth something great if not then it doesn't matter still got some like nostalgic childhood sentimental value you know, just look at the cards it brings up some memories so it's, it's it's all good really it's all good I'm more excited about these promo cards as well. He's like, I remember this. I can't remember what it's from. I feel like it's a movie. But it's definitely not the first or second. No, I don't know, actually. Honestly, don't remember, but. Is it from a movie? Is it from a game? I cannot, I cannot remember. It's been way too long. Like, way, way too long. I can't remember the last time, like, um. Ow. I can't remember the last time I actually like, got a promo card from... Oh no, it was the I Choose You movie. I got loads of promo cards from that. <laughs> but yeah, I found like, um, yeah, found some good cards. Hopefully you guys enjoyed though. Um, if you did, smash a like. And I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day. Peace.